All right, y'all. So I'm making this video not only for myself, but for anybody that's watching this video that's probably doing the same shit that I've been doing for a long ass time. And my bad if my whole tone is kind of switched on here, just something that I really gotta talk about. People pleasing is killing, draining our soul. People pleasing, I'm gonna say this again. People pleasing is draining and killing our soul and spirit. It's like, it's so draining, very draining. Who that? Oh, I thought something to do somebody. It's very draining. And it's like being scared to just keep it real with somebody or do something you really want to do just to be scared to hurt their feelings or how they react to it. So we just sabotage ourselves on a consistent basis because of it. It's draining. You know what I'm saying? It's very draining. And I've been catching myself doing it. Because I've low-key been doing it since I was a kid. But as I get older, I'm being more aware of myself doing it and being aware of how I don't want to hurt people's feelings. Now, I ain't saying, you know, don't hurt someone. I'm not saying just hurt someone's feelings to be an asshole. I mean, like, just when you have to keep it real with somebody, but you're scared on how they re will react and you're scared of how they would uh, perceive you afterwards. We got to stop doing that because at the end of the day, we're being real and honest with them. And if they can't really take it, then that's not on us. You know what I'm saying? Now, it depends on the delivery, obviously. It depends on how you say it. It depends on the tone, right? But it also depends on the space that you're coming at. If you know you're coming at a pure genuine space to just be honest with them and hope they understand or not. And if they don't understand, then that's not on us to try to make them understand. You know what I mean? Now, like I said, like I've been catching myself doing it and only watch this if this resonates with you. I've been catching myself doing it. You might be doing it if you're watching this video. I don't really know. I ain't gonna be like saying you're doing it because that's not, I'm not gonna be doing that. But, oh shit. But, um, all I know is I've been catching myself doing it. I've been doing it with people that randomly interact with me. I have people that randomly interact with me just because of like the type of person I am. They just kind of drawn towards me. I had like the other night, another dude, interact with me she tried to tell me who i was and everything and i didn't say anything when i should have just stood up for myself you know what i'm saying like he was just he was just saying that i was he was saying some eerie shit i ain't gonna lie but you know it's just that some people will really think they know you but they really don't or they'll try to tell you about yourself but they don't know you because you only know yourself you know what i mean and you know it's just, that's just the key factor of people pleasing. I've been getting many signs of me doing it that my spirit been sending me. And at first I didn't know what it was. I'm like, what what, have, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I'm thinking it's something major, but nah, it's really something really simple. I just been people pleasing like shit. And it's getting to a point where I can just feel it draining me. And it's also getting to a point where I'm getting sick of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This kind of seemed like a rant, but also it's like trying to encourage to tell people don't people please man i'm telling you it's not it's not it's not it bro it's not it it's really not it you know what i'm saying like i said it's draining and i ain't gonna say killing is a bit exaggerating i'm gonna say it's just draining you know what i'm saying but we gotta stop it man we got to we just gotta be honest with one another we gotta communicate with each other and we just gotta keep it real man and if Sometimes the truth hurts, man. There's been moments where someone kept it real with me and that shit hurt, but I was able to receive it and be open to it and learn and grow even more. You know what I mean? And if they're closed minded and don't want to be open to receive that criticism or receive you being honest, then that's not on you. That is not on you. That is on them. You tried, you tried. That's all that matters. You tried and that's all that matters. And that doesn't just go with friends, that goes with family, that goes with your loved one, that goes with your dogs, like that. <laughs> that just goes, that goes with family and friends, you know what I'm saying? Because friends and family is just a label at the end of the day. We're all supposed to just, we all have a connection. That's the main thing. You can remove the family, the, the friends, the wife, the husband, boyfriend, girlfriend label. At the end of the day, it's all connection. And it's up to us for to keep that connection stable, toxic, or that's it, stable or toxic. You know what I'm saying? 
And the only way it can be stable is if we be real with one another. But if we're not being real with one another, then it's gonna tip over. It's gonna, it's gonna tip over. You know what I mean? I never really came off on this channel like this because it's just, I always, I'm very private. I like to just, you know, record myself when I'm actually just chilling or in the mood. But I wanna, like I said, pull out more parts of me, you know what I mean? And, you know, I haven't really pulled out more parts of me on this channel like that. But, you know what? I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it. I ain't saying I'm oversharing and shit, like I said before, but I want to be able to just pull out every part of me. You know what I mean? Every part. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, by the way, I made a t blah. I made a TikTok for my beat channel. It's gonna be in the description. I posted a TikTok already. This is something that I didn't know I was gonna. I didn't. Oh my gosh! I have this. I'm gonna have to blur this out again. It's all good though. I'm gonna have to blur it out. But, um. What I was gonna say, uh, oh yeah, all right, so yeah, I made a TikTok. I didn't think I was gonna do this. Shout out to my aunt, uh, and many other people have been telling me to been do this. I'm not gonna lie, it's been my aunt, my friends, some of my family, but shout out to them because at first I thought about doing it and then I was just going back and forth on whether I should do it or not. So I decided to finally make it. My aunt was just saying you should make it, and I just decided to do it. So shout out to everybody who's been suggesting me to do it. I finally did it, I finally gave in, man. Say so, you know, I ain't gonna say Uh It's it's smart. I ain't gonna lie. And I'm uh, I might make one for my music too. But right now I'm just taking it little by little with what I want to do. There's so much I want to do. You know, I found my groove. I want I found my groove in dancing again because I always want. I always been. I used to dance a lot when I was a kid with my older brother. So I just been like some videos across my record minute that I used to watch when I was a kid came up again and started wanting to dance again. So. Yeah, man. I'm just taking this little by little, man. But don't don't lose the message in this video. We need to stop people pleasing. And it's not just family and friends. We're talking about just everywhere you go. At your job, school, and like I said, family and friends. You know what I mean? And random people. We got to stop that, man. Because we got to just value ourselves more. You know what I'm saying? We got to value ourselves more and we got to you know stand up for ourselves you know there's so many things that i let slide over the years that I let slide you know what i mean and you know i'm learning that i have to stand up for myself i have to be honest i have to be more real real and if it hurts someone's feelings then that's not on me you know what i mean because there's been so many times where i've let so many of these stuff slide that people took advantage of me and that's not just friends that's family as well you know what i mean so we gotta stop that because once once we start people pleasing more and more people will take advantage man you'll be surprised you'll be surprised man like i'm slowly stepping away from people because i've been peeping it you know what i'm saying i just haven't said anything but i've been peeping it yeah yeah man just stay around people that won't take advantage of you and make sure it's people that align with you you know what I mean? But yeah, man, we gotta stop people pleasing in this new day and age, man. If you believe what I believe in, then I can say this. <laughs> we've been brought back into this world not to people please, man. We've been brought up in this world, you know, it's not people please, man. That ain't it, bro. And if you feel like you've been here before, we're not gonna be we're not gonna be back on this earth to people please again. <laughs> like that makes no sense. No sense. But that's all I gotta say, man. I'm gonna have to blur this out again, cause yeah, I can't. I'm not gonna see. Yeah, you're not gonna see this, so I'm probably gonna blur it out too. But that's all I gotta say, man. Sign out. Ugh.